Hi, this is Reverb Audio, and I'm following up on 29's question, and he asked me about uh, Uno Continuous Cast uh, uh, Copper, or just uh, what? What I think you also asked about uh, other kinds of uh, copper keyboards. So, which one I would recommend? Because, uh, uh, huh? Neotech OCC Uno Continuous Cast Silver Hookup Fire. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But, uh, as I said, um, 29, uh, you don't need to, well, if you want to get a special silver wire made by audio companies, that's going to uh, cost a truckload of money. Uh, it is much simpler to get the jeweler's uh, silver wire, uh, just make it a uh, dead soft anneal. It's uh, way more cheaper and you are getting, um, I think, 99% of the performance. And if you are thinking about uh, other, like, uh, other copper cables, uh, then um, I, I would just recommend to go with the plain jeweler's silver cable. It, it, it's not going to break your bank and um, it's still going to sound very good and uh, do, 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 do. sound in both directions so it will be a 3d type structure that's a really good idea to make a 3d type structure however the the thing is that it's not going to be durable uh, it's very uh, yeah it, it it will look like a mess in uh in a few years and uh, and of course when you think about building your own cables you have to think about uh, durability as well in the beginning I also just tried to make things as best as I could and then I realized you also have to make them last and also you have to make them without breaking the bank and uh, and especially if you want to concentrate your money on, on what to get what to buy then uh, just make uh, sensible choices and uh, first just try uh, building something where um, which, which the funds are not depleted too much through those uh, tries and and what uh, frank answered is that it's very important uh, to keep uh, silver and copper as as a philosophy so if you make an interconnect silver cable or plugs then if you have a wire the cable with one material don't put uh, uh, the connectors from the other kind so for example if you have a copper wire and you put silver connectors on it yeah or you have a silver cable with copper connectors even bigger yeah but as Frank says, OCC means Ono Continuous Casting. And, and uh, 29, you asked about OCC Silver. I don't think such a thing exists. Or does it? I don't know. Because OCC process was developed for copper. I don't know if any cables are, are doing it for, for uh, silver. Maybe Neotech does. I don't know. Since I started using uh, Jeweler Silver... I never look back. I never purchased a single audiophile cable or uh, wire in my life. And, and as such, for the last 15 years, I have not followed any of the companies on what sort of uh, wires they are making because, uh, sadly, I couldn't care less. The, uh, the jeweler silver that, that I'm getting from uh, Rio Grande is, uh, is just astonishingly good and then the cables I made from it are just uh, well I don't want to brag or say that things like they are leagues better than anything uh, made since that I have tried but uh, I, I could say that but I don't want to really why it's because it's your turn to say it I gave you guys the recipe you can build your cables and some of you already built it and they are uh, and I'm getting reports that uh, it's turning out what <laughs> actually more than 
what is expected from them. So, so if you want to go and go for special brands, you can try it out, but uh, I think uh, 29, because you are thinking about uh, putting money aside to buy vacuum tubes, if you are just burning it, wasting it on a special silver hookup wire, then you are just burning the money that you should be putting towards making your amplifier. So I think you are making a bad choice there. So it's kind of like uh, uh, concentrating on the spices and forgetting about the meat for your main dish. Uh, anyway, I, let's just get there. And, uh, and then, yep, yep. So let me, thank you, thank you, Frank, for uh, re responding. 229 yep so it's kind of hard to get stuff in in yeah places anyway so for that i think this is my my answer for the questions for now and that's about uh, wires and and of course uh the most important part when you roll out your cables is as frank says use good solder that's very important and what is even more important i'm just zooming on there mechanical contact before soldering this is absolutely vital so that means that you have to make a strong physical connection with the metals before soldering them so it's not like here's one wire like your 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 speaker wire uh, maybe I just use it like this so here's one wire and then there's there's your other wire and there's a big blob of solder between them that will be a, a, a very compromised situation you want to touch them you want to have a strong connection how to do it with the camera not easy like a strong connection you can even wrap them around each other like make a single strong loop around it and then make sure just gently crimp it together gently enough so you are not damaging you are not uh, creating breaks in the crystal structure of the wire but that firmly enough so that one wire loops around the other firmly and then solder them together so that's what Frank means, mechanical uh, connection before soldering. And, uh, doo -doo -doo. yep, I, I can totally second this. That I have compared home interconnect with Crosti bands at dealers costing $2,500 and more. Dealers have a funny smile when you propose to compare their high-end cables the smile disappears after they listen to both. Yup, I had exact same experience. Uh, that <laughs> just usually just astonished shock is what 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 is happening. And uh, only the result count. Nothing gives more satisfaction than when you find your own way to have a smile when listening and be able to forget the technology used and to enter the soul of music. And. Uh, uh, and for some of you, uh, this might be strange that, that Frank mentions soul of music. What on earth is that? And uh, he is so right with it. Because uh, we can listen to music in different ways. And, and, and the way that uh, most people just start to listen to is really superficial. And we are just looking for, does it have enough bass, enough blah, 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 and so on. But... Uh, but really, I think all of us crave to find a deep connection with music, to reach the soul of music. And, and interconnects are really, uh, I would say, the bottleneck that hold us from reaching that point. And uh, when you start rolling out your own, then you really can get to this soul of music uh, feeling that that you finally are listening more than just to the surface 
and when you get there you will understand it and it will be crystal clear what the soul of music thing is about and you will be just astonished that audio gear can do so much more than just give you a carbon copy of an event and uh, otherwise you would be always stuck in that loop that oh my music is almost as good as real life and just upgrade now it's it's even more almost as good as real life but almost as almost as and and when you have this interconnect part down uh, when you get to the soul of music is that when you feel that okay that comparison between real life and recorded music becomes irrelevant because uh, whether you can reach the soul of music does not depend on whether it's live or recorded but whether the performers did it or not and it's not just the performers it's the uh, it's the connection between you and the performers and this connection can be made through a real life concert or through a recorded music it does not matter if you naturally resonate with a certain musician uh, or with certain music it will happen regardless it's a live event or it's from a recording and uh, and when you look at uh, frank's advices he already got to that point that he he has reached this level and and all his advice is about how to get there and my advice is how to get there as well so thank you everyone for tuning in have a wonderful day thank you 29 for your questions and thank you frank for helping out and uh, bye bye